And Pilate said, what is truth? And he turned away. What did he turn his back on? His eternal salvation. That's what he turned his back on, his eternal salvation. Right then, he had to weigh up a whole lot of things. And that's when, what we're going to look at this morning. Where, where does this happen? Where is this weighing up of the pros and the cons? And that is a gift that God gave each one of us. He says, what is truth? Did he want an answer? He already had the answer. He'd heard of Jesus. He'd heard of his dialogue in John chapter 14 where he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Maybe Pilate had heard even of the dialogue that he had with the Jews that believed on him. This is found in John chapter 8, starting at verse 31. And Jesus said to the Jews that believed on him, if you continue in my word, you shall be my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Often quoted, isn't it? Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Jesus, in his bearing and in his dialoguing, was offering Pilate life, eternal life. And what Pilate did, he was weighing this up. And the cost was too great for Pilate. The cost was too great. He knew that it would be political disaster to free Jesus. And if you know the dialogue later on, he said, I have the power to let you go. And Jesus said, you have no power. Because we know what was Jesus doing? He was fulfilling the prophecies. It had to happen. But, but Pilate could have been free. Yes, it would have been political disaster. Yes, he would have immediately lost his, his job, as we say in Australia. Possibly even killed himself. But if you know the history, he could barely live with himself after that and he did end up taking his own life. 